Breaking news today in the world of Formula One, Rich Energy and Haas are parting company. What a surprise, what an absolute shocker. No, if you can't sense the sarcasm, this has been in the pipelines for quite some time. All the way back in July, just before the British Grand Prix, already Rich Energy put out an official statement. I mean, <laughs> official statement, we'll call that in loose terms, because a statement was put out on Rich Energy social media saying that after dreadful, dreadful performances from Haas F1 this year, they were going to leave the team with immediate effect. Well, as most of you know, if you followed Formula One, that didn't quite come to fruition. Rich Energy have stayed with the team now for the entirety of the season, and the threats that were made in Silverstone were sort of, let's just say, brushed under the rug just a little bit. And those accusations after Silverstone were, well, again, never came true. And this post was taken down. Supposedly, the person who put it up was fired from the company. But even then, it seemed like the relationship between the two had fallen apart a little bit. Hass also, well, Rich Energy themselves were in a bit of a, a legal predicament with their logo being the same as White Bikes. And I say the same because... It was practically identical if you haven't seen it. it. does give you a good chuckle if you Google Haas, well, Rich Energy and White Bikes logo. Haas didn't really help out Rich Energy in that kind of situation, mainly because Rich Energy didn't have a leg to stand on. But also, it, relationships between the two got worse and worse. And today, the official announcement that, yes, the two will be parting companies for the rest of the 2019 season. And to be honest, it's not really a big surprise at all. I think what a lot of people instantly will be really interested to know is what happens with the car. I mean, it's a perfect picture on screen right now. All that's really going to happen is you're going to lose the Rich Energy logo on the engine cover, Rich Energy logos on the front of the car, and it will just be a very, very basic looking black and gold car with Haas on the side, Haas on the rear wing like you can now see on this picture. The number eight as in Grosjean's case, but most... it, it will. It'll look pretty similar, to be totally honest with you. I know some people are saying, will it revert back to last year's livery? Very unlikely. All of the team's overalls, branding for the 2019 season is black and gold. I don't expect that to change. And actually, I had the privilege of having a little convo with Chris Medland on Twitter. Convo is probably a <laughs> bit of an exaggeration, but he has confirmed as well. He's much more... Uh, respectable journalist than, than me, to be honest with you, much more experience in Formula One, confirmed that, yes, the, the livery is practically going to be the same, which, to be honest with you, isn't a surprise, but it's definitely something people would be interested in, I feel, for the rest of the season. To be fair to Rich Energy, Haas have not had a good year, and it wouldn't surprise me if there was some kind of performance clause in their contract you know, it's not a brand new thing, is performance clauses, and it's definitely n not hidden that Haas's targets this year were best of the rest. Now they're fighting at the back comfortably in ninth place. OK, comfortably ahead of Williams, but also comfortably behind eighth place, Alfa Romeo. So on both sides, I think not only has there been tension for quite some time, but also I can understand why Haas want to let them go. First of all, Gene Haas, very wealthy man. I don't think he particularly needs a sponsor, a title sponsor. They've never had one in Formula 1 before, Rich Energy. They also have had plenty of sponsors in the past, so I don't think that's a priority for the team. For Rich Energy, I get it. Maybe Haas F1 isn't the best kind of... At the moment for them anyway, the struggles the company is going through, the performance Haas is doing on track, probably isn't the best mix for either party at the moment. What I will say... Kind of saw this come in, I think most of us saw this come in, ever since the name Rich Energy first came into Formula 1, when they tried to buy out Force India last year, and yes, I mean Force India, when they went into administration before they came racing point, they almost became Rich Energy Formula 1 team. Never went through, never seemed to be a really serious bid, despite CEO William Storey, that's the CEO of Rich Energy, saying that it was a serious bid. They then tried to get a sponsorship deal with Williams. Williams didn't really want to go down that route. Went with Rocket instead, which I think is actually quite a nice partnership and has worked quite well with Rocket and Williams. Went with Haas, which I think most people were surprised with, but end of the day, it hasn't worked out. Will we see Rich Energy return to the grid in the future? I doubt it. They're dabbling in IndyCar a little bit so far this year. They're also partnered 
with Jordan King in Formula 2, so it's not out of the realms of possibility that they could make a return one day or even next year, but for the time being, it's not going to be with Haas. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to know your memes in the comments below about this entire situation. Personally, as a fan of the team, I'm glad the whole fiasco is over and the team can move on, can start looking at other sponsors if they need them for next year. But the toxic relationship, one of their many issues this year, is over. Thank you very much for watching. We're almost at 15k. I didn't expect to be making a, a rich energy house video at 15k, but hey, probably quite fitting with this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and if you enjoyed, of course, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.